I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strength Team family, welcome to the Strength Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you gotta do is put them at the bottom and I promise you I'm gonna make that video happen. Just like this video, a lot of the Strength Team family members was like, we need a killer forearm workout. Mohammed, I told you I'm gonna make it happen. That's exactly what this workout is. Now, most people that you see in the gym or maybe on videos that have huge and massive looking forearms, nine out of 10 times, they don't even do forearm training. They are doing a lot of back work. They're doing a lot of bicep work because anytime you train your back, Anytime you train your biceps, you are training your forearms. That is way too much talking, so let's jump straight into this video that is gonna show you and help you how to build some massive forearms. Now, first exercise, we have the reverse easy curl bars and we're gonna add in some bar rows. Now, we have four total sets and I want you to do eight to 10 reps. Like I'm showing you in the video, do not wrap your thumb around the bar. Instead, keep your thumb where your fingers are. Now, with that grip, now I just want you to perform a regular reverse curl. Now you see in the video, the reps are slow, the reps are controlled. At the top of every rep, do you notice I'm actually squeezing my forearms and I'm squeezing and flexing my biceps. That is exactly what I want you to do as well. And immediately after that, you're gonna go down slow and controlled. Now bring it back up into the curl, squeeze as hard as you can and go all the way back down. Now listen, after you do eight to 10 reps, now you have bar rows. So just like I'm showing in the video, you're gonna grab the bar and then you're just gonna rotate it backwards. You're going to do this for 30 total reps. Now you're going to do two sets forwards and two sets backwards. The way I did it, I did one set with my 8 to 10 reps with my curls and then I went backwards. Then the following set, after I did my 8 to 10 rep curls, I went forwards. You can do it any way that you want to. Make sure you're doing two sets forward and two sets backwards. Now after finish with that, we have the dumbbell hammer curls and we're just going to do negatives. Nothing fancy right here guys. If we're going to do four sets. We're going to stay between 8 to 10 reps but like I said, we are focusing on the negatives. Make sure that you're keeping the dumbbells away from your body. Make sure your elbows are out in front of your body. This is gonna make sure that your forearms are getting a whole lot more activation. Now, when you're at the top, so go ahead and squeeze and flex. Now let the dumbbells come down slow and count one, two, three, four. Lift and curl the dumbbells back up, squeeze and flex, and again, count one, two, three, four. You're gonna do this for eight to 10 reps. Now immediately, after you reach eight to 10 reps, now you wanna do 10 partial reps. Only come halfway down, now come all the way up and squeeze. Go halfway down, come all the way up and squeeze. Ladies and gentlemen, your forearms are about to be pumped, I'm telling you. Just these first two exercises, honestly, if you're new to training your forearms, listen, that is enough. Because the thing with forearms, they're kinda of like abs, they're kinda of like your leg calves. If you do too much and you're not used to it, it's gonna make you hurt for like a long, time and it's very uncomfortable but if you want to go further listen here we go our next exercise it's a superset so it's time to put some sweat on your forehead we're going to superset the dumbbell holds and we're going to use either a towel a uh, pair of socks make sure they're clean socks if you're using uh, socks don't mean are using your sweaty socks man or you won't get kicked out the gym don't do that or you can just go ahead and use a shirt either way it goes you're going to use that towel or your sock or your shirt you're going to tie it around the dumbbell and that's how you're going to do your holds now, we're going to superset that with the gym clip squeezes. Nothing fancy. I know it sounds simple, but I'm telling you, this right here is about to set your forearms on fire. Now, just like you're seeing in the video, all you're going to do is you're going to grab the towel, you're going to grab the socks or your shirt, whatever you use to tie around the dumbbell, and you're just going to hold it. I know it sounds simple, and I know you're thinking, dang, real, you only use 40 and 45 pounds. Listen, you're going to hold it for 60 seconds, and you have this for four four sets. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I always keep it real with you. The second, third, and the fourth set, I had to put it down. I think I made it to like maybe 45 seconds, and then my third set maybe made it to like 40 seconds, and so on. But it doesn't matter. Just make sure you do 60 total seconds. Now immediately after that is up, now you're going to pick up some gym clips. Now I just want you to squeeze it, just like you're seeing in the video. Now don't be doing those short reps. Don't do no short, fast reps like I'm showing you in the video. Squeeze it and hold it for a second. Let it all the way back out. Squeeze it and hold it for a second. You're gonna do this for 30 
total reps. I'm telling you, your forearms are about to be so pumped, so vascular, so just burning, just everything that you wanted out of a forearm workout, I promise you, you're going to have it. Now, to make this even more effective, on your 30th rep, I want you to hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. I'm telling you, gain certified. Now, just to finish this workout, we're going to do the cable rope forearm reverse curls. We're only going to do four sets. We're going to do 20 reps, and to make this even more effective, the fourth and the final set is going to be a drop set to failure. So just like you're seeing the video, you're going to grab the end of the rope. Now all I want you to think about, take your wrist and pull it backwards and squeeze. Now let the rope come forward. Now push the rope all the way back again and squeeze. Every single rep, that is what I want it to look like. Now, after you get 20 reps, I want you to lighten the weight up. Now I want you to go right back in there, guys, and do another set for 15 to 20 reps. Your forearms are about to be burning. Your forearms are going to be pumped. Your forearms are going to be growing, and that's it. Listen, any video that you want to see, or maybe just want to test and see how great my training skills are, listen, leave it down in the comment section. Once a week, I'm going to pick out the favorite workout that y'all want me to do, whoever votes the most on it, and I'm going to bring it to y'all live in effect, and I guarantee it's going to be one of the best workouts that you have seen in a very long time. But like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. <laughs>